In this lesson, you will learn how to communicate with your students in Moodle. There are various ways of communicating with your students in Moodle. We will look at a few of those ways. So next to your name, click on the arrow pointing down and click on Messages. The Messages window appears and in the search box, type in a user name or a student's name. I'll type in the user that we've just created. Let's click on search. And the user's name will pop up in this window. Click on his name. And here you'll see the user is online. And now let's click on the little three dots here at the right hand corner. And let's add it to our contacts. Okay, now. The message appear here as, are you sure you want to add Nathan Klein to your contacts? We click on add. Okay, now it says the contact request sent. Okay, now a contact request was sent to Nathan. So let's log out here. And let's log back in with Nathan's credentials. And you'll see here, yes to notifications for Nathan. Okay, let's click on the bell icon. And you'll see here a contact request from eLearning Portal. Let's click on it. And here you see eLearning Portal would like to contact you. Let's click on it. And then you click on accept and add to contacts. Or you can decline it so let's accept it and now we can exchange messages with this user let's send a message to eLearning portal once we are done typing Let's click on the send icon. And here it says, hi, thank you for the invitation, the time I send it and the date. Okay, let's log out. And log back in as eLearning Portal. And immediately you'll see here next to your name there's a message here let's click on the message and here you see it's from Nathan Klein I can click on it it says here hi thank you for your, for the invitation to ascend the time and the date let's click here where I can type a message Let's click on send and the message was sent to Nathan. Let's just log out again and log back in as Nathan. And here's Nathan's notification. Let's click on it. Click on it again and there's the message. So this is one way of communicating with your students through messaging in Moodle. Let's log back out, log out. Let's log back in. Let's look at the second way we can communicate with our students through a chat okay so now let's click on our course systems technologies 
and we are going to create a chat in this course okay first things first we need to turn editing on so next to our gear icon click on the arrow pointing down and click on turn editing on once editing is turned on in our announcements let's click on the plus next to the plus sign it says here add an activity or a resource click on it and here is a list of activities and at the bottom there's a list of resources so we want to create a chat room so let's click on the radio button where it says chat and let's click on add and it opens up the chat window so let's complete all the compulsory fields so here name of this chat room let's click in this box and type in systems technology chat we can give it a description And we can choose to display the description on our course page. Let's do this. Let's click on chat sessions. And here the next chat uh, time will be uh, the 6th of October. And the time we leave it at its default. Next to repeat publish uh, sessions times. We click on arrow pointing down and let's click on no repeats publish the specified time only okay save past sessions no just leave it on its default and everyone can view the past sessions leave it on no common module settings we can leave on its default restrict access we can leave activity completion you can click in this box here and Choose show activity as complete when conditions are met. And the condition will be the students must view this activity to complete it. All the other areas you can leave on its default and let's click on save and return to course. And here our chat session was created. Here's our little description of the chat session. And here you can see in our calendar if we hover our mouse over the sixth, you'll see the system technologies chat events. So this will remind the students of our chat session on the 6th of October. Okay, let's enter the chat session. Click on it. And yet it says this uh, chat session is all about system technologies. And here we can click to enter the chat now. Let's click on it and here you'll see your own profile picture with your name and here you can type your message. So let's type a message. We're done typing, click on send. And your message will be published in this window here and all the students will see and can react via the messaging system. And that's how we set up a chat session in your course. The third way we can communicate with our students in Moodle is via the forum activity. Okay, so let's create one. Again, let's click on add an activity or a resource. 
and it will display the add in activity and resource window. Let's find the forum activity, click on the radio button and click on add. Okay, it will display the forum window. Here we can give the name to the forum. Let's call this We call it the Systems Technology Discussion. We can give a brief description of it. And we can choose to display it on the course page. Let's check this box. In the forum type we can click the drop down box and we can choose how we would like this forum to appear in our course either through a single simple discussion each person posts uh, one discussion a q a forum a standard forum or a standard forum with general use let's leave it on its default let's click on availability and we can choose here when is the due date and the cutoff date when the learners can reply to this forum okay let's click on attachments and word count here is we can select from the drop down list the maximum attached size and the maximum number of attachments so we can choose one here display word count let's leave it on no let's click on subscription and tracking leave it on its default discussion locking leave it on its default and post threshold for blocking leave everything else on its default except for activity completion let's click the drop down box and we choose show activity as completed when conditions are met and what are the conditions Require the students must view the activity to complete it? Yes. Require a grade? No. Require posts? Yes. And we leave it at one. We can choose here how many posts we want the learners to add. And require discussions? We can say yes. Students must create discussions. Require replies? Yes. Students must post replies. Okay. And we can um, enable the completion date but leave it unchecked and leave the tags and the competencies on its default let's click on save and return to course okay and here our system technology discussion was created let's click on systems technology discussion and the systems technology discussion window opens and here we can click on add new discussion topic so let's click on it in our subject field we can type the topic here so let's call it systems technology and in the message field we can type a message for our students and the the students need to reply to this message okay so we can ask a question here okay, and when you're happy we can include images, we can include videos, we can include sound recordings. When you're happy, you can click on Post to Forum. It says here your post was successfully added and you have 30 minutes to edit or make changes to the post. And here you can see the discussion is about system technologies, who started it, if there are any replies yet, and when it was started okay so when you want to reply to this discussion you can click on 
the replies there and then you can reply to this discussion okay by clicking on reply let's click on reply and yeah I can type a message you can click on submit when you're done and there is your reply to this discussion let's go back to our course if you want to make changes to the system technology chat or the systems technology discussion you can click on the arrow pointing down next to the edit and click on edit settings and here you can make some changes by either changing the date or the activity completion and then click on save and return to course and your changes will reflect on it so just make sure that you turn editing on and that's the different ways you can communicate with your students in Moodle.